Hey everybody, how are you doing? How are you doing? So I am here for another video. So this video that I'm doing right now, I am sorry for that. I was getting ready to pull the camera down, but I need to sit up first and make sure if I need to pull the camera down or not. Do I? Okay. Oh no. Boom. Okay. So I am here for a video that I have promised you guys and I have not done it so far but i'm doing it today nonetheless and um here we go so <laughs> i'm excited about this that's why i'm laughing okay so i said that i was gonna do a video to show you guys how i store my scentsy soap well i already took the jar off my mason jar the top off my mason jars these are ball sure tight mason jars and i ordered a box of these off of walmart.com uh, i can find i will find them and link them down below um it's like a dozen of these and these are the 16 ounce 600 milliliter is it 16 ounce 24 ounce i'm sorry 24 ounce milliliter um 600 milliliter wide mouth ball mason jars and it looks so much better to store the store the scentsy soap in a mason jar than it then just to have all these bags around if you're like me you have multiple scents of different scents of scentsy soap and scentsy soap if you don't know if you're new to my channel first thank you for coming in onto my video and a welcome and i welcome you to watch all of my other ch um, videos on this channel and if you're new to scentsy soak let me tell you scentsy soak is a authentic product of scentsy i am a independent scentsy consultant this is in the scent hibiscus pineapple it is from our um spring and summer collection which is out now so go on my website which will be across here Actually, I'm not putting it up here because it's connected to a party link. And I want you to just shop that party. Don't think because it's a party. Don't let that scare you away. It's all right. It's just like you're shopping on any other website. It's just a long link. That's all it is. But you're just going to go into my description box and you're going to click that link. It's going to be the first link in the description box. And Scentsy Soak is a mixture of Himalayan and pink himalayan sea salt and epsom salt and it soothes tired and achy mu muscles per packaging i don't know if you can read that but it is on there let me read it to you no it is not on this one but it's on the other packaging so the way to use this it says pour desired amount of sissy soap under warm water running water under warm running water about one cup of scentsy soak and soak for 20 to 30 minutes while enjoying your favorite fragrance so you put use it for your bath okay and this is a ziploc bag if you don't want to put it in a mason jar but trust me you're going to love this so i'm going to break open the jar i mean break open the bag the jar already broke open Oh, that smells so freaking good. And what I use is a, for this wide mouth jar, I use a one third cup measuring cup. Fits perfectly in there. So I don't like making messes or wasting anything. And another thing about the Scentsy Soak, let me tell you something. So one, you're going to get this awesome number two you see that color is like a peach pink not peach but a pink color you're going to, it's going to turn your bath water that color now you see i just stuck it right in there no mess at all and boom i just put it in here so i've been this this is a two pound bag of scentsy soap I don't even turn this to go in because I don't want it to spill. So I just do it like that. And 
and I just repeat the process until it is all in here. Now, this is not going to get into the entire bag is not going to go into this jar because I don't care how I pack I pack it. It's just not going to get in there because it's a two pound bag. It takes a jar and a third of a jar to um to um package this up in a mason jar. See, it's getting full. I know a third cup is kind of tedious for some people because you have to keep going in there and doing it. And you see when I pull it up, I put my hand on the bag to and I run it um scrape it off it's just like you're baking if you're a baker you know exactly what i'm talking about i level it off just so i don't waste anything and i'm keeping my product so this is how i do it leveling it off and as you see All right, so now it's getting to the top and I just shake it to level it so that I can get more in there. And man, when I tell you this smells good, I think I'm going to use this one tonight. I have a bunch of these and I think, like I said, it was a dozen jars when I ordered this. No, it did not come out. <laughs> but I am making a mess anyway. It's okay. I'm going to take care of that mess. It's just a little bit. Score. That's all I do. Just scoop it in the cup. But it's not a big mess like normal when I don't use a measuring cup. Now, when it gets to the top like this, what I do is I take this um, cup, this measuring cup, and press down to get more in there. So I'm going to, let me see if I can move the camera. So I'm just pressing it down, as you see. And it's like I'm kind of hollowing it out to get hollowing. Making a hole, hollow, a hollow hole to get more in here. And I'm going to press down some more. And turning while pressing. Lift, turn, press. Lift and turn, press. And I like to push it to the max to see how much I can get in here. And I think this last scoop is going to be it. But we're going to see. So... Yep, that's going to be it. So, I'm just going to place this on here. And tighten it. Now, the way I can tell... Um, let me pull the camera back up for me. The way I tell what's what is... I take a marker. You can take a permanent marker because it's going to wash right off, off um, with a damp rag when you get ready to change it. And just write on here, hibiscus pineapple. You don't even have to put Scentsy soap because you already know it's soap unless you want to. That is totally, totally up to you. So I'm going to write on here, hibiscus pineapple. Whenever I get up to get my... um. my my marker so let me go get that nail so i got my marker 
make sure it is soap free <laughs> and let me place this down here so you can see me writing on here hibiscus pineapple and I know what scent this is now since I only have see hibiscus hibiscus pineapple and since I only have one jar left it's okay I'm just going to zip this up because like I said this is a ziplock bag and sometimes it doesn't zip all the way up you got to take a knife to get the product out of the grooves that's one reason why I don't use reuse this bag because it's not I gotta get a knife to scrape the product out of the grooves so the bag can close and there it is this is all packaged up now I'm gonna take you in my bathroom cabinet so that you can see what i've done okay i am walking to my bathroom cabinet y'all get a tour of my bathroom look what i have on my in well i need to turn it on it says believe in your dreams let me see if i can turn that light out i'm gonna turn this light down so you can see Believe in your dreams. All right, so I'm going to turn the light back up. Turn the light back on. And look at what I have. And I am. This is Go Go Mango. I need to, I'm going to mix this up. Didn't mean for that to fall in the sink. But what I am warming is watermelon tangerine oh my god that smells amazing that is another one of our spring and summer scents so as you see i have regular epsom salt right there and right there is that it yep that's it right there and i have all of these soaks these scentsy soaks oh my goodness that is a the mix of the um Johnny Appleseed all purpose cleaner concentrate. As you can see, I'm almost it's almost gone. So I'm going to add that to my collection. Ooh, fits perfectly. And that is how I ooh, and that is how I excuse me, how I package up my scentsy soak and make it look so beautiful so thank you guys for joining and i really do appreciate it don't forget to thumbs up comment down below share this button and most importantly click that notification bell after you subscribe thank you have a beautiful and blessed day